What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video from the beautiful and sunny Alanya here in Turkey. Today it is another beautiful weather day and we're gonna spend it indoors. And what I mean by that is we're gonna visit the Dalmatash cave. We've got the entrance right behind me right there. Dalmatash cave is one of the well-known caves in this area and uh, it stands right beneath the castle in that mountain right there. But with that being said guys, let's go and explore. We are inside guys and it's spectacular straight away this is the entrance literally look at that ceiling right there wow it looks incredible it's pretty big as well and it's quite warm i think it's like 22 23 degrees constantly around the year which is great I don't know if you can see me properly guys, but this cave right here was apparently discovered by mistake in 1948 while they were digging a quarry, uh, which is really great for the construction of harbor. And uh, apparently the stalactites and stalagmites, which are the dripping form formations that have formed because of the water dripping, uh, have been formed in 10,000, in between 10,000 and 15,000 before Christ. That's a lot of time ago. <laughs> Looks great. And the constant temperature throughout the year, uh, no matter of the season, is 22.3 degrees Celsius and a humidity of 98%. That's crazy, 98%. Yeah. But that was it, guys. I found a spot with good lighting. Well, this lighting, I've got that right there. Um, and the cave itself, it's only 50 meters long. It's not the, the longest, it's not the biggest. It is impressive. I was impressed with it, to be honest, with the stalactites and stalagmites. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't that much because there are quite a few big ones in Romania. Uh, if you want to Google one right now, go for Peștera Urșilor. It's huge. That is the cave of the bears. That is really, really big uh, and impressive. But I liked the looks of this one and we paid 12 Turkish lira per person to get inside, which is really cheap. It is this much in British pounds. And that was it guys, if you enjoyed the video make sure you smash the like button, I'm only kidding, <laughs> I'm only kidding guys. So what we're gonna do next, on the other side of the hill, as you probably know, you already saw it yesterday, if you haven't, make sure you check out the video, I'm gonna link it up right here for you guys, uh, if you haven't, check it out. But uh, we're gonna go and visit the Red Tower, which is at the base of the castle wall. <laughs> so let's go guys. So in order to get to the Red Tower, we have to walk one and a half kilometers, which is not that bad, it's about 18 kilometers, not far away, but it's really beautiful to walk in this beautiful weather. Look at that sky right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna put it right there. So, so blue, so beautiful, no clouds. Looks really great. Another great day here in Alanya. It is the 10th of December and there are 20 degrees Celsius outside. Yeah. Straight away guys, how cool is this? They put pillows so that you don't hit your head once you get inside. Right, we're inside guys and uh, we took a tour around, we've got a few ships uh, displayed but unfortunately there is no details in English, there's nothing about them, just uh, the ship themselves and the name that we can see. Uh, but we've got this beautiful model right here, I think this is the tower that we're in right now. Uh, and then this might be the fence along but it's not, again, no writings or anything apart from that. <laughs> so. Uh, we tell you what we see as well. So that, that right there I think is the red tower, the one that we're inside right now. And this is the wall, the protecting wall that goes along the sea line. And this right here I think is the shipyard that we're gonna visit as well. And by the way guys, uh, we paid 17 Turkish lira per person to get inside this place as well as the shipyard. If you only want to get inside this place and that's it, that is 12 Turkish lira per person. 
so 17 per person for the two of them which is about this much in British pounds. Next up guys we're gonna go to the upper floor and I think we have access to the top of the tower as well that way. Right, so included in the ticket, we also get access to one side of the wall. We're just walking on it right now. Uh, this will have been a defense point for the tower as well. Look at the beautiful sea view right there. And the shipyard is right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk along this wall right here. They come back, go upstairs. We've got another level, another two levels. And yesterday I saw people on top right there. So I think it's now three levels then. And uh, then we're gonna come back, walk along the wall and to the ship shard, ship yard, <laughs> ship shard. <laughs> but let's first discover here guys and suddenly that's it guys we've got a, a gate right here which is closed so we're gonna have to go back Right guys, we made it to the top floor. It looks impressive. It looks really nice. Look at that. I think that right there would have been a cistern with water. And look at these, uh, I think ceiling lights, I would call them. Check this out. That goes down to the floor below us. <laughs> it's quite a few of them. Probably they've been uh, attacked. They would have opened this and just try and kill the enemies or something guys look at that beautiful view right there we're on the top of the tower and that right there is the arsenal where we um, started our tour through the castle so that is the arsenal part the castle is behind there we can't see from here but this is one of the defense walls at least part of it i think looks incredible wow look at that depth right there really nice place guys you've got beautiful views uh, of the city of Alanya as well as the harbor. It looks really nice. Make sure you come here as well. Now we're gonna go down back downstairs and uh, onto the shipyard. Let's go. And we made it to the shipyard guys and as you can see right here it was constructed in the 1227 by the Seljuk Sultan Aladdin Kekubad the first it also says that the structure is made out of hewn stone and brick and it consists of five vaulted bays and measures approximately 57 meters across and 40 meters deep Wow Now guys, how cool is this? We've got a shipyard, so a garage for ships pretty much. They come inside, look at that, wide entrances right there. It will come inside, it will park itself right here and obviously they will drag it down that way and park it, I think, something like that. It looks impressive and it's really big. We're gonna explore it all by, it looks so beautiful. Wow, so this behind me right here, it's a crane. It's a treadwheel crane, also known as Magna Rola. And it was, um, it, it used to function with people. So people would get inside that wheel right there. They would walk and rotate, spin the wheel, and obviously this would be lifted. It's incredible. They would use warm, like humans, look at that. This is the way it worked. And 
that was it guys we came to the lighthouse at the end of the harbor the lighthouse right there and uh, we didn't film because the gopro's battery died <laughs> so we had to charge it for a bit but we came all the way here it is a beautiful evening we only walked that's all we did and uh, by the way that is where we came from that is the shipyard that is the red a tower that is the wall of the castle arsenal and castle right there on the top look at that beautiful view beautiful sky and incredible sea right here in alania today we explored three different parts of alania we explored the cave the Almataj cave we explored the red tower and the shipyard and i think out of the three of them i liked the shipyard the most although the tower was nice as well the shipyard is what i like the most what was yours yeah shipyard as well it was it was really nice uh, to see the structure and to see how they used to work and build ships and everything like that it was really really nice but guys if you enjoyed it as well make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos from this beautiful country as well as the others and with that being said check out the links down in the description watch another video and let's discover turkey together in the next one bye